We need to solve each of these equations in the interval from uh, minus 180 to positive 180, giving our answer to one decimal place where appropriate. So the first equation, we've got tan squared plus uh, tan squared x minus 2 sec x minus 2 equals to 0. The identity we need that links tan and sec together is that tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to sec squared theta or x in this case. I'm going to make tan the subject by subtracting the 1 from both sides. So tan squared theta is the same thing as sec squared theta minus 1. And now I can replace this tan squared with the sec squared minus 1. I can then collect up the like terms, because I've got a minus 1 and a minus 2 there. And now I can factorise. It's going to be a minus 3 and a plus 1 to get the minus 3 and the minus 2. So sec x equals 3 or sec x equals minus 1. Now let's just remember that sec is the same thing as 1 over cos. So if we do the reciprocals of each of those, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, the reciprocal of minus 1 is minus 1. Now we can do cos inverse. Of each of those. And use our graph. So um, cos inverse of 1 third. Is 70.5 degrees to one decimal place. Let's draw our graph between zero, uh, sorry, actually we're going between minus 180 and positive 180. So the cos graph looks like this. So that equals one third, roughly about there, in two places. I've just worked out that this was the uh, 70.5, so this is going to be minus 70.5. And then for the second solutions, the cos inverse of minus 1 is either 180, which is here, here's the minus 1, or over here at minus 180. So those are the four solutions to part A. Part B, we want an identity that links cosec and cot. That identity is cosec squared theta is equal to cot squared theta plus 1. So we're going to replace this cosec squared theta with the cot squared theta plus 1. Expand the brackets. Collect up the like terms, and I'm also going to subtract the 9 cot x from both sides so that it equals 0. Factorize if we can, and I think we can here. It's going to need to be a 2 cot x and a cot x, and then we're going to need a minus 1 and a minus 4 
to get the plus 4 on the end. And then the 2 times the minus 4 is minus 8. And then that gives the minus 1 to give the minus 9. So I know that cot x is either equal to 1 half or it's equal to 4. Let's remember that cot is 1 over tan. So if we do the reciprocal of each of those, we find that tan x is equal to the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. Tan x is equal to the reciprocal of 4, which is a quarter. We'll now do tan inverse of each of those. So tan inverse of 2 gives 63.4 degrees. Let's draw a tan graph. I'm going to draw it up here. From minus 180 up to positive 180. So it's equal to 2 here and here. We've just worked out that this here is 63.4. So this is going to be minus 180 plus 63.4, which is going to be minus 116.6. Then when we do tan inverse of a quarter, we get 14.0 degrees. And if we look at that on our graph, a quarter is roughly here. There's one solution there, another solution there. We know that this is 14, so this here is gonna be 14 as well. So minus 180. Plus the 14 is minus 166. And those are the four solutions to part B.